Hi there, it's Hugh Morgan again with another Quick Intelligence Technology Briefing. With me I have Terry Swarren of Cloudian Canada and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Cloudian uh, S3 Storage. Terry, do you want to talk a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. I'm Terry Swarren, uh, Cloudian Canada Sales Director. Uh, I've been with Cloudian since January. Uh, we decided to uh, to move into uh, into Canada, stop servicing out of the U.S., and uh, have a local sales team. So, the guys got the rule. Great. So, what's your experience in the industry? Prior to joining Cloudian, I was with the, another manufacturer for seven years, and uh, come came to them from the customer side. So, I was a director of technology for uh, for another for a customer prior. Fantastic. Um, so, tell us a little bit about Cloudian. What's uh, what's the company, and how long has it been around? Sure, so Cloudian is a on-premise cloud storage solution. We're built upon the AWS S3 API. Uh, so really it's object storage. We are truly software defined, um, meaning you can port, port our software into hyper clouds, keep it on-prem uh, on your own hardware or on our appliance model. We've been around since 2001, um, and we're based at the San Mateo, California. Fantastic, so how many customers would you have? Over 300 customers globally, and they're in every single space that you can imagine. There's some really great ones in uh, media and entertainment space. And in the US, there are automotive manufacturers, there are retailers, there are financials, um, just just about a little bit of everything here. And a private company, so unfortunately we can't buy shares at this point. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's talk a little bit about the overall value proposition of, of Cloudian. So why do you exist and what, what do you offer the marketplace? We're all about the S3 on-prem cloud storage. So we feel that not all data will sit in public cloud for many different reasons, right? Um, there needs to be an on-premise cloud type of solution that scales like cloud, costs like cloud, and is easy to manage like cloud. So we are that organization that delivers on-premise cloud storage um, with that scalability, with that ease of management. And we also tie into cloud storage, so we'll allow you to categorize your data prior to moving it to public cloud. Great, so if I'm a CIO then and I've made a commitment to putting my applications into the cloud, why would I want to reverse course and move them back into my data center and put the storage up on Cloudium? Cost is the, is the number one key there for most organizations. They found that they've moved everything to cloud and the access fees, the egress fees, the search and index fees become astronomical. They need to move back on back on prem. I think another one would be with um, application development. A lot of organizations today begin or are born in the cloud. They begin that development in the cloud. Uh, a lot of them on AWS tying into the S3 API. With Cloudian, we can bring that back on prem as that organization begins to scale, and we can give them the portability to things like Google and Azure being software defined and multi cloud ready. Trevor, and I guess security enters into the picture too. You could uh, develop your application using test data in the cloud, but if you, for whatever reason, can't put your production storage into the cloud, you could then migrate that back. Absolutely. Okay, great. Okay, so let's talk about specific use cases then. What's sort of number one on the list? Uh, sure, so I think everybody thinks of object storage, I think of archiving. Okay. So you know, our object is not new, it's been around for quite a while. Um, most organizations tend to think of it as an archive repository and it certainly works well for that. Um, I think it goes a step further. I think you can look at us for, as a backup storage repository. As most organizations look to move away from tape or look for a much more cost-effective disk-based storage solution behind their backup environments. So you would never really contemplate using Amazon for that. That would be prohibitively expensive. I, I can't imagine the, the cost associated right. with that. <laughs> so do you partner with anybody on that, or do you have your own platform? We certainly do. So I think uh, what we're seeing today, um, all of the backup players, so the Commvaults and the Beams as great examples, have adopted the S3 standard, and right. they're looking for S3. So I think... Um, the, the big point there is S3 isn't just about Amazon. S3 is about Cloudian as well, and mm -hmm. it's about the API and how to leverage that API. Terrific. Any other uh, big applications? I mean, I would think data lakes, perhaps? Good. Absolutely. So so Hadoop obviously has, a, has their S3A um, integration point into mm -hmm. uh, object storage. So we're seeing customers keep their Hadoop farms, leverage Cloudian as a single source of truth for their data and, and house all of their analytical data and connect back with Hadoop. 
We're also seeing the same from Splunk, right? So that uh, that warm through uh, frozen data repository or data lake for Splunk. Great, terrific matchup for that, I guess, with your your low cost storage and uh, and again the ability to take advantage of Amazon for development and Hadoop and then move it, port it back. Absolutely. Into the in house. Um, talk a little bit about some of the new applications then that you're seeing. I mean, those are sort of the traditional ones. What, what else are you sure. seeing out there? So I, I think everyone is adopting S3, right, and that's standard. I, I, I think Michael So, our president, made a great uh, great bet by, <laughs> by building upon AWS S3 API. Um, we're seeing, obviously, organizations like Pure with their object engine, their flash blade and object engine tiering to S3. That S3 repository doesn't just need to be AWS. It could be cloudy and on-prem, and we can be that gateway to get you to Azure, to get you to GCP. I can imagine some of our Canadian retailers wouldn't want to leverage AWS, may look at, us, look at them as a competitor. On the other hand, they need the S3 API. But they need API the S3 API, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Well, that's great. So, you know, you can enable a CIO then to take advantage of, of the fact that you've got this software-driven solution and negotiate the best deal with any cloud provider to take advantage of it. Absolutely. Are there any other applications uh, out there, the things like Internet of Things and, and video and so on? Pet Media and Entertainment, as an example, there are some applications out there that do transcoding or rendering of that data. So it's part of the media and entertainment workflow uh, that directly work with our platform. Things like Ebert's, as an example, which is a, also right. a Canadian company. If we look at IoT and, and how data is being generated, right? there's a lot of sensor data out there. Um, you know, I'm a car guy, so connected cars are, are, yeah, are one of my <laughs> passions, <laughs> right? And uh, you look at some of those electric cars out there with self-driving technology, four terabytes an hour of data that's generated um, while you're driving. That data needs to be housed somewhere. And, and quite honestly, getting in and out of the cloud, fees can be astronomical. Right. Keeping it on-prem, we can certainly keep those costs down. Now, earlier we were chatting, and you told me a little bit about a Formula One use case as well. And one of the car manufacturers uses your product? They certainly do, and I can't give all the secrets away, Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they certainly do. So all the telemetrics um, and sensors that are on that Formula One race car, as it's circling around the track, um, they're collecting data. They're knowing how they're and it's helping them through their analytics process to add downforce, inflate tires, change driver engine, braking yeah. habits, engine tuning, et cetera. Cool. So um, we talked a little bit about use cases now. What about vertical markets? You know, where do your customers fall? A little bit of everything. So we, we certainly play in the financial space, right? You can imagine financial records have mm. to be retained for a very long time and they have to be retained securely. Not a great place in the cloud. The last thing you want is your visa records in the cloud, um, mm. in the cloud being, you know, being hacked potentially. Um, we fit in the media and entertainment space, as I mentioned. So whether it's um, part of that media and entertainment workflow for capturing the footage, putting the movie or mm -hmm. TV the show together, stuff, yeah. or even out to the streaming providers, such as Netflix, et cetera, to stream that video out to you. Utilities, I, I guess, come to mind. Utilities yeah. are huge, right? You think about smart meters as an example. Right. It's one of the first things that comes to my mind. Great repository for all of that data to come and, and be collected. Fantastic. So uh, if you were going to wrap it up and maybe have two big differentiators for Cloudian over your competition, what would they be? I think the S3 uh, compatibility is, is number one on our list. Um, everyone will tout that they have S3 compatibility, but what we always find when we're put up against the competition, we are 100% AWS S3 API compatible. Um, our competitors typically pick a, a subset of that API mm -hmm. to leverage or they have built their own proprietary sets. And what that really means is they have a list of customers or, or solutions and applications that they work with. We have a list of solutions and applications that we might not work with, okay. right? So if it requests S3, it You've will got work it. with Cloudian. Um, and of course, our cost. We're, we're typically 70% cheaper than, uh, than public cloud costs, as well as uh, on-prem infrastructure. Great. Well, there you have it. Well, thank you very much, Terry. It was a pleasure talking with you. Uh, if you have any other further questions, please uh, get in contact with me. I'm Hugh Morgan uh, at Quick Intelligence. My email is hmorgan at quickintel.com. Thank you very much for your time.